All right, good evening everybody. Welcome to this week's edition of Southern Woods and Waters. If you guys like catfishing or big catfish or all of the above, tonight's show is going to be one for you. We're going to be heading down to the Tennessee River. We're going down there for the Hope Outdoors Catfish Tournament. As always, a great event. J.R. Sweat helps put that on down there for Hope. And uh, of course, all the Hope staff gets behind him and helps him do it. But this is a wonderful event every year. We'll get to get out there on the water. And this year, we actually had two different cameras out in the boat. So that's going to make it even more exciting. There's going to be some big fish on tonight's show. Then we're going to head over to the weigh-in and we'll see how everybody else did too. So we'll go ahead and pan out. I'll introduce my guests for tonight. we got Courtney Smalley here with us and my buddy Anthony Landreth as well. Always great to have you guys in town. Um, but guys, we were down there. This has been maybe a month ago or yeah. so yeah. now. And Terry and I went down and we got in a boat with JR and we actually went out and got some, some B-roll. We filmed another show while we were down there. Yeah. Uh, and you guys went out on, on boats with some mm -hmm. of our anglers, some, some of the Hope anglers. Um, so, Courtney, you were out with Kaylee Long, Correct. is that right? Mm -hmm. And then you were out with Doug Price. Yep. And, and y'all both had great trips. So, oh, and, yeah. and I, we need to also say you were with the Fountain Brothers. I was. Uh, very well-known catfishman. Uh, the Fountain Brothers have been done very well in their careers. And you were with Larry Muse. Larry Muse and, and Dino also Matter. Dino Matter. Yep. And another big name in the catfish world. Uh, so you guys were in good, good hands. And, and all these anglers are in good hands oh, now. Yeah. I mean, they're all out with, with great guides. Um, but it's an opportunity to get them out there on the water, add a little bit of competition to it. You know, they they have some trophies. Jr. even has those fancy belts yep. made up. You know, yeah, like the, everybody like wants the wrestling belts. Yeah, Got to sure have does. them wrestling belts. But uh, it, you know, just to see Doug and Kaylee and other ones like them get to get out and do this. Uh, you guys see them. Y'all y'all see us get out with hoping we do deer hunts and we do turkey hunts and duck hunts. Um, but I mean, this is a, it's a real special event. I mean, they get to, to get out here, get on the river, learn how this is done, and uh, and get their hands on some big fish. Yeah, I mean, you know, really. just watching the video that you sent of Courtney Film and Kaylee, I'm telling you, those big fish, you, you, I, I don't know, pictures, well, a video is worth a thousand words. It yeah. is. It is. I'm looking forward to sharing it. That's coming up now, uh, second and third segment. And actually, we're going to be on the Tennessee River uh, showing you guys all this. But, Courtney, tell me a little bit about your experience with it. I mean, you have guided with Hope a little bit mm -hmm. now already. Uh, I hear there's already a request for you this coming deer hunt. There so, is. I mean, hey, you're Tyler, already getting popular around there. Hey, oh. Tyler's watching tonight, <laughs> so I guarantee you. Tyler. Yeah. 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 He's done claimed it. But, uh, <laughs> but I mean, it's, a, it's really it's great to get out and help these people. It, it? it is. You take away from it way more. More than you put into oh, it. Yes. Way more. You do. In the yep. smiles, um, and I and I told you this, and I and I'll say it, but it's you cannot. When you see these videos, when you see the the smiles, right. and just but it, it's just so genuine. My point is, you couldn't act it, you couldn't That's make right. it up. It's it's as real and as genuine as it gets, and you get to be a part of that, and it's 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 worth it. It you know it's it's so worth getting you know, out there. Brandy, you think when you do something like that that you're going in to help these folks and do something for them. But man, what you get out of it it's is awesome. totally the opposite. <laughs> You're you know? the whole it's way like home. you didn't do nothing. Yeah. It's like they done You're something the for you home. every time I've ever done it. So now JR he JR does this big time now. He is he's big in the catfish world. He he sets up a lot of these tournaments. Now this coming weekend, uh, this Saturday is the world championship of catfishing. Yeah, and in that's Savannah. down and that's, that's right. in Savannah, Tennessee. Uh, we got we got that pulled up now guys, y'all can look at some of the information. Um, but this is held in Savannah every year. Anthony, you and Courtney have both been down there yep. uh, several times and helped cover this. You're going to be down there this year. We're going to be covering it again. Yep. Um, but out of this, you know, there's some qualifiers that are going to be here that came out of this. Yes, time. this is the first year, Brandon, that the, the top three qualifiers or top three places will automatically go to the Cabela's King Cat. Yeah, uh, tournament. So and that's that is a big a, deal that's right a big there. Deal. It that's sure a big is. deal there. And this year, again, a lot of these top qualifiers, some of the biggest names will be down here for the World Championship. They're coming from all around. The way in's right in the city of Savannah. Right, I mean, it's right, right in the middle on the street, of town. right behind the courthouse. So it's, it looks like a big street fair kind of. It is. Well, the they're having a big festival in. this year. Uh, uh, I know Daryl Whirly, Dana Carter. Uh, it's several other, you know, country music stars that are going to be there performing. Yeah. And also, too, one thing at this tournament, uh, ever since JR took it over, uh, a lot of people may or may not know, but um, 
he gives away a Hugh McNaughton trophy, which yep. is kind of special to us, it you know. Is, absolutely. But uh, you know, the way he always was with with kids yeah. and stuff. So. Uh, the kid that catches the biggest catfish in this world championship catfishing because they're allowed up to three people in the boat and uh, but there is a special award given to that person and it's got it's called the Hugh McNaughton Award. Yep. And we had video this past year of, yep. the, of the winner and we'll have it again this That's year. That's right. It's, it's neat to have him you know his name involved in yep. that and his legacy. So. I, I know I'm fortunate enough to get to present that. I mention me and you every time oh, yeah. because I mean you know Hugh if it wasn't for you and Hugh, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. I wouldn't be up here right now. He'd he'd be down there at that tournament too. Oh, you know I guarantee what I mean? you. So, yeah, that's that's a that's another great just an added it you know, is. thing to it, sure to it for us. So yeah. looking forward to, to that and 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 being a part of that like always. Yeah. So JR is actually he's there setting up. That's why he's not here tonight, by the way. I know some of you are gonna ask why JR's not here. Yeah, he's he told me. I, I said, JR, are you he's coming? Fretting. He said, Man, I'm stressing out. I got so much stuff. So I, I gotta go tomorrow and help him get everything set up, you know. He gets all wound up, but he, I mean he, he wants it just right. He that's does right. it just right. So that's yeah. that's why. And you know, one thing I wanna to mention too about the Hope Outdoor, just before I forget, is uh Jeff Dodd, you know. Yeah. Jeff comes in every year right after the tournament and he puts his auctioneer hat on. And I think I think they raised between what, seven, seven, eight thousand yeah. dollars this year. Yeah, just in the auction. That's, I mean, well, that's yeah. You know, I mean, it was. I mean, and, that's but fantastic. Jeff always does that. You know, he jumped, and then yeah, the, he's still he in goes his straight from the boat. Right yeah. yeah, and then they're fixing the boat, to have the Hope Outdoor. Um, what is it? It's the, just a the banquet. banquet. It's a, a banquet. banquet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, Jeff is the auctioneer there too. Well, it's kind of like a do you banquet There's so many people that get behind it. You know, there's new people you even want to get behind it this year. I mean, it grows all the time, and we love to see it. Guys, looks like you're ready to go on over to this week's Wild Game Forecast. This week's Wild Game Forecast is being sponsored by our friends over at Wilson Banking Trust. They've been taking care of your banking and financial needs now for over 30 years. You can stop in and see them at any of their Middle Tennessee locations. Be sure to tell them thank you for all they do for us here at the show. All right, guys. Well, the forecast is looking good for the deer hunters. It is. The fishermen, for anybody. we got this cold front coming in. Uh, it's actually out there tonight. I mean, I've been at the ballpark before I came out here. We were out in the parking lot for a little bit earlier, and that wind's got a little bit yeah, of it picked a cut up to it tonight. Pretty good out there just while I got it. It does, and it's got deer on their feet. We've yep. seen them up and down the road. They're, they're lighting the cameras up. I think for an uh, opening weekend of bow season, it's setting up to be pretty good. Uh, <laughs> it's a little bit excited, maybe just a little bit, Courtney. Little bit. I'm ready. Well, I know you and Tucker have been practicing <laughs> a lot. Y'all are ready to go. Um, but I think it's going to set up really good. For the guys that would rather be on the lake, guys and gals, it's going to be a good weekend to be on the it, lake, it too. Is. Now that this, you know, today was probably a tough day. I didn't get out today. But I'd say on the tail end of this front, it's going to be real good going into this weekend. Yeah. So forecast is looking good. Guys, we want to remind y'all, keep up with us on Facebook. We'll always be sharing what we're up to on there. Y'all can share your pictures and stories with us as well. We'll be right back in just a minute with this week's Picture of the Week and some more Southern Woods and Waters. <laughs> 